I didn't know. Coming from a, a background like mine and all, I always wanted to see other places, but I was never sure that I ever would. That's the wonderful thing about our country. The opportunities are endless. Anyone can escape their background. You can travel, do things other people just dream about. Hey, James. You uh, got time for a cup of coffee? You know, James, I, I find it hard to believe all this. In the past few days, I've come to realize what a remarkable man you are. What a remarkable mind you have. I don't understand how you could do something like take those documents. Think about what that'll do to your family. Think about what that'll do to our people. Our people, James. We've made so much progress. And now for a thing like this to happen. Judith Elizabeth Saunders. <laughs> the next graduate is a young man who has been a great source of satisfaction and pride to Foster Grove High School and to me personally. He graduates with honors and is this year's winner of the Spartanburg County Foundation's College Scholarship, James Robert Thornwell. set back by what you've done. Progress we've made with Dr. King. We've come so far. And now this. The white newspapers will print it. The white people will read it and they'll love it. They'll love it that a black man is a traitor, James. We don't want to prosecute you. We don't want it in the newspaper. All we want is the documents. You might even wind up a hero if you help us get him back. I'm just a poor black farm boy from the South. It's possible. I give you my word. It's possible. Anything is possible these days. You mean like General Westmoreland? Well, he went to Spartanburg High. I, I went there for a while. Oh, we were raised in the same county. You took the documents, James. Just tell me how. That would be a beginning. I drop off some sandwiches that night to the guys on the night shift, you know, uh, Armando Means. I, I brought them the food. We sat down, we shot the bull for a while. Now you see, that's what you do with white boys. You shoot the bull. You see, so there I was, shooting the bull with the boys. And uh, I walk over to the file cabinet. I open the drawer, I take the documents. I put them under my arm while we're still talking. And I walk out without anyone seeing me. I mean, isn't that fantastic? I mean, isn't that really just fantastic? What I did. What's this for? The police aren't supposed to give me tickets. Damn it. I'm gonna go down there and take care of this right now. Do 
nous étions, nous puissions le faire. Mais ça, ce n'est pas mon problème. Nous puissions des questions, monsieur ah, Tournoi. Mais ce tournoi, il est en France. C'est une affaire concernant la CIC. Si. Oui, tournoi, le tournoi de votre tournoi, il obéira aux lois françaises. The French police know about you, James. They say the document you took concerned NATO and French military forces, and they say they have jurisdiction over you. Tournoi, tournoi, tournoi. Il obéira aux lois françaises. Get him out of here. Come on, let's go. Tell them. Tell them. Get him out of here. Come on. Tell them that I didn't. I didn't take anything. Get him out. Tell them that I'm out of here. I said, get it, one of the big. I apologize for what happened today, James. I wouldn't have gone down there if I'd known they wanted you. Why haven't they tried to arrest me before today? Well, I suppose the fact that you're in the American Army. Though they've put the soldiers in their prisons before. I think what happened today had to do with seeing you in their station. They figured they had you. It's uh, probably not safe for you to leave the base anymore. Not without protection. We really can't keep them away from you forever. Not if they really want you. And I'm afraid they really want you. It's a good wine, James. Try it. Yeah, I really don't see how we can do much more. I don't know what else there is to do. We tried to be your friend. We've done our best. I uh, think you owe us something for that, James. I've extended myself. I've put myself in an awkward position. But I don't care. I'll do whatever I can to help you. It's been two weeks now. We've used up our time. The others want him back for questioning. We have to give him back. I'm sorry, James. But we did the best we could. I took them. That's what you want to hear, isn't it? I took the documents. In that first five weeks, there was no formal charge against James. He told them what he thought they wanted to hear because he wanted them to stop. He was sure his confession would be the end of it. That's what they'd promised. When he got out of the army, James had changed. From a promising young man, he'd become a misfit. He was unable to carry on the most basic of social interactions. He wanted to know why. He needed to know so he could put his life in order. He started that search in Miami, Florida, where he went to live when the army was done with him. He went to lawyers. One of them tried to help. How many lawyers have you been to see before me? Three, four, maybe. They all told you that you could sue the army. They all wanted money up front to do it for you. And some of them were Negro, and they still wanted money. <clears throat> There's nobody who won't take advantage of you if they get a chance. Nobody. You would have lost your money, James. You can't sue the army. You just can't. Now, I've done everything that I can. I sent for your records. I ask for full particulars. They said there are no particulars. There's nothing in your records to indicate that anything you told me is true. They did something to me. I didn't say they didn't. I said that there is nothing in your records to support it. I signed the confessions you wanted. You told me that would be the end of it. We have no problem with the confession. And it's over. Well, not the part of it that deals with your admitting you took the documents. That part of it's fine. 
That's what you said you did with them. I burned the documents, I told you. That's the problem, James. We did some tests. There's no way that you could test anything, no way. Some of the documents were found. We tested those. Where did you find them? We did some chemical tests. The documents weren't burnt. For sure, they weren't burnt. Where did you find them? They were wet, James. Now, how do you suppose they got wet? Come on, Thornwell. Come on, Thornwell, you can tell us. Come on, Thornwell, come on. What did you do, I, I what did you do them, with them? I threw them in the river. River? What river? Uh, what, uh, what river? Uh, Loire. How'd you do that? You, how? I, how did you do it? I, I just threw them in. From where? Uh, where? where? You heard the question. I, I threw them off of a bridge. Damn you, Thornwell. The jar sank. Uh, I tried it a half a dozen times, and it doesn't work. We put together two folders of material, the same weight and everything as the documents, and threw them off the bridge. The currents just don't take them to where the fragments were found. Not even close. It just doesn't work. You think he passed them on? I have no idea why he won't tell me what he did with them. Well, if he passed him on, he wouldn't. There doesn't seem to be any connection with any agents or foreign nationals. Somebody we don't know about. We're going to have to find out, of course. I have a couple of ideas. Well, you go ahead with whatever you think will work. He's a tough bastard. But we're pushing pretty good. How far do you think this is going to have to go? Oh. It'll be over soon. All right. You're going to feel drowsy almost immediately, but just take things easy. Everything's going to be all right, huh? You're quite comfortable now, James. Now I want you to count backwards with me, starting with ten. 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 Nine. Nine. Eight. Seven. You keep telling the stories and they don't work out. Maybe there's a reason for that. Your unwillingness to be truthful about what you did with the documents leads me to believe the worst of you, and I don't want that. Maybe... I don't want to believe you'd sell out your country. But maybe I didn't take the documents. What would tempt you to become involved with another country, James? Is it money? <laughs> because I can do as well as anyone in that regard. I mean, if it's a matter of price, I can do very well by you. A million dollars? <laughs> yes. Yeah. If it came to that, I could arrange it. Why don't you think about that? You'd have the money, you'd be free. Because let's face it, James, you're in the driver's seat. You took the documents? You're the only one who knows where they are. What if I didn't take the documents? How are you going to feel well, you if you find out that's the truth? I, I was over. promised that I could go home You're if I confessed. You're a great man, James. Come on. I didn't take the documents. All right, are we going to talk price? Are we going to send me home? Well, I'd like to. I'd like to forget all about this. That's what they said when I confessed. They work for you. What is the difference? Who says it? All right, James. Now, you've got to understand my problem, all right? The pieces have got to fit together. All the pieces have got to go together or else it's no good. All you got to do is tell us what you did with the documents. It's the only way I can help you. You said, James, let us hypnotize you because what you say in a trance will be the truth and we'll believe it. What did I say in the trance? Did I tell you that I took them? Did I tell you where they were? The trance wasn't deep enough. You said, James, let us give you sodium pentothal, because when you go under that deep, you can only tell the truth. Well, now, did I tell you that I took them when I was under the sodium pentothal? Did I tell you or where they were? I have to have the documents. Mm, well, I didn't take them. I will have the documents. I will have those documents. I will have the documents. Yes. Uh, with the, uh, what do you think? Uh, 
How are you feeling, James? We've tried to be considerate in how we're going about this. Don't you think we've been considerate? I think you'll agree we have. We're aware of how difficult this is for you, but it'll be over soon. You'll confide in us, we'll protect you, and everything will be all right. <laughs> You're a good man, James. Even though this has been a difficult time for all of us, I've enjoyed being with you. Hey, once again, Thornwell. Mm. No, I'm not going. Hey, hey what are you doing? I'm, hey, look, I'm not going, going anywhere. Uh, Do this any way that you want to, but I'm not going anywhere. Any way that makes you happy, but I'm not going anywhere. You're getting right on the edge, mister. One more time, Thornwell, the documents. None of your stories work out, though. No, no, your time's running out around here. I don't want to see you, Thornwell. I think I'm an old man. French police, James. We're in Bush's office now. Get him out of here. What, what, now, come on. Let's go. What, what, we gotta get you out. Come on. What happened? What, 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 what? You know a woman named Susan? Yes. She's married to a friend of yours? Yes. She's pregnant? Yes. They say she's helped you. And knows where the documents no, are. No, no, they're, they're crazy. They're going to use a knife finally to get the what? truth. What? No. You don't want that blood on your hands, James. You don't what? want that. What is that? What is that? Come on, come on. Come on. They're gonna search the building for you. Oh, let's get him out of here. No, oh, come on, now this is getting hey, too far. crazy. No, you can't do this. We've checked it out, and it doesn't work. Just like everything else you've told us, James. I told you I gave him to a friend. We talked to your friend. We've been to his apartment, checked witnesses. Not possible. Not at all possible. Think it over, James. Take your time and think it over, and think it over carefully. We're not going to accept any more of your fanciful stories. The next thing you tell us must be the truth. It must be, or our responsibility for your well-being has ended. Messing with my old lady, huh? What are you talking I'm about? I'm gonna kill you, man. I'm not I'm doing gonna it. I'm kill you, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're supposed to be, you're supposed to be my friend, man. I am, Williams, I am. And you're talking about it. No. Talking about how good it is. No. Talking about how much fun you have it. Wait until I leave the house. Whoever told so you, you that? Can, so you can run in and play. Huh? They're a liar. They're a damn, damn liar. No, I'm kidding, man. For me. I'm kidding. You did the right thing, James. Believe me. You did. Agreeing to protective custody. That's the only way we can be sure you're all right. I don't know what Williams had in mind, <laughs> but he's not the only one. A couple of your buddies think you're trying to lay it off on them. A couple of them think you're a communist. They don't like that. French police want you. I think, I really, I think this is the best way. You'll be safe. We'll be able to wrap the whole thing up. We'll all be over. It's time to do that now, James. It's time to wrap it all up. thing is, and I'm ashamed of it, Army wouldn't go for it. You said I was going to be in a hotel. Well, they said they couldn't allocate the funds. And I went to the wall with them, but <laughs> they just don't have the money. You said that I'd be in a hotel and that I could call it off at any time that I wanted. No, it's not that bad, James. Our offices are right downstairs. It'll make a hell of a lot easier for us to talk. I'm sorry about the hotel thing, but there's nothing I can do. It was a part of the deal. Yeah, well. <clears throat> this is it.
It's all right, James. You'll be safe here, I promise you. <laughs> Sorry about the lock. I don't have enough men to guard you. On that day in October when James came to me, he spent his time as he usually did. He rode his bicycle. He walked. He spent most of it alone. He tried to live differently in Miami after the army. He tried to be with people. He tried to work. He got married. What in the hell do you mean? You've been shopping. You've got all day to shop. Uh, I want you home. You're supposed to be home when I get home. I was at Mama's. Well, I don't... I, you, I want you home. Uh, I, I want you home when I get home. I want you home, Catherine. Home. I'm sorry. I've been acting bad. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do anything that hurts you. You've been awful. Well, I, 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 I don't know what comes over me. It, it, it just happens. Uh, I don't mean it. But you do it. Well, I'm trying. I want it to be good. I love you. I love you too. Well, there's a baby in there. <laughs> Not for much longer. Oh, well, let me see. Hello? Let me talk. To... Hello? Hello in there? <laughs> it's time for you to come out of there. What's... what? Oh, what's that you say? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, whoever is in there says that they'll be out when they are damn good and ready and not before. <laughs>
That's the last time you use our wastebasket for a toilet, Thornwell. You hear me? The last time. Let me go to the bathroom when I have to. I don't have enough people to escort you around whenever you feel like it. And then I'll use the wastebasket. No more wastebasket. I use the floor. You scum. Scum. They'd let me, I'd break your bones. <laughs> Do things to you you'd feel every day for the rest of your life. Me anyway, I don't care anymore. They can't do much to me. They probably won't do anything. Probably just go down as an accident. You listen to me, you black bastard. I'd kill you if I could. taken too long. Nine weeks. Nine weeks. If it was just you and me, I, I could do something. But there are people from Washington involved now. There are people high up in the government. There are generals involved now. It's gone beyond what it was even a few weeks ago. It's hard for me to help you now. Oh, oh but I'm trying. I'm talking to people. I'm seeing people. I, I'm doing what I can. Keep yourself together. I'll get something going for you. Don't worry.
James? My name's Sanborn. I came by to see if you'd like to get out for a while, get some fresh air. I'll come by for you tomorrow morning. It'll be good for you to get away from here for a while. How many confessions have you signed? Uh, four. Uh, five. Uh, six, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> they push too hard. Too hard. They want too much, James. When do you think all this will stop? <laughs> hey, hey, James. You know, I'd stop them if I could. James, do you believe in fate? I do. The twists and turns our lives take depend so much on time and place. Who we encounter and under what circumstances. You were born black. That's fate. <laughs> Certainly wasn't your fault. You certainly wouldn't be in this situation if you'd been born white. Think about it. What if you'd been born into a nice, white, middle-class family in Boston? Or Seattle? Hmm? Traeger wants to help you, James. He came to me about it, and I said it could be looked into. It's dangerous, but he wants to try. Trust him, James. When the time comes, trust him. right there. Faster! If they catch us, I don't think I can do anything to save you. I believe they're gonna kill you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 